That looks like a good place to get something to eat. Nothing looks very tasty here. The snack bar must be in another room. That guy looks hungry. I'll find out where he goes to eat. Hmm, he must take the Underground Railroad to the snack bar. I'll find out how to get on the train. How are you, Beagle Boy? You want to take a trip on the Underground Railroad? Many people make the same mistake. They think the Underground Railroad was a train. You come with me. Take a walk down those tracks. I'll see you in a little while. The food better be good after all this walking. Wait a minute. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Where'd the railroad tracks go? Does we run? No, the dog looks to be alone. Are you lost, little one? My master's never going to believe this. You look to be a long way from home. You wouldn't believe how far. Where's your master? I used to have a master once, but no longer. My name is Harriet, Harriet Tubman, and I'm a conductor on the Underground Railroad. And I'm Jericho. Harriet's taking me to freedom on the Underground Railroad. Finally, we're getting somewhere. I'm looking for the train. Of course there's no train or tracks, nothing like that. The Underground Railroad is secret houses and people who help runaway slaves escape to freedom. The journey is long and dangerous. Dangerous? The journey could take weeks. We try to find our way to Canada by following the North Star. You're going all the way to Canada? I ain't never been to Canada. Hope you don't get lost. You can't seriously be traveling all the way to Canada. You haven't been to Canada, little one? Hmm, I haven't. I don't know what it smells like. Can't find something I never got a whiff of. I hear something. Let's duck into the brush. I could be killed if I'm caught. Killed? Or chained or beaten. There's a reward for my capture. I'm a shaking so bad. Must have been an animal. Best be moving on. This is rough stuff. How do you stay on the right path without a map? Walk with us a while, little one. More importantly, what did you eat? We won't do much traveling now. It's too light. Darkness is a runaway slave's best friend. That's why it's good we left when the moon was just a sliver. Let's rest a moment. I thought you'd never ask. We plan the day of our escape according to the moon. When the moon is full, cast light all around. But when there's no moon, we can travel in the safety of darkness. What if the owners got wind you were leaving? Many times things would go wrong with our plans. Since we weren't allowed to talk to one another, we had secret messages hidden in our songs. Secret messages? Sort of like S.O.S. Secrets of Sherlock. The first time I was to try to escape, the owners found out. I was glad to hear the singing so that I didn't go. I remember the song we sang to warn you. I couldn't hear nobody pray. I'd have been so scared, I probably would have forgotten the words. But the night we did leave, I was the happiest man when I heard the singing. The message to escape was hidden in the song, Still Away. Still Away. I 
guess it's time for us to be still in a way. It's not good to be in any one place too long. Could I see what you have there to eat first? Are you hungry, little one? Let me do a little something about that. Thank the good Lord for the many rivers on our journey. What's the deal? I don't see any bridges. How are we going to get across? The water hides our scent from the hound dogs. We need to find a safe place to cross. Looks to be we could cross right over there. I'm too old for this. Thank the Lord. And we didn't get too wet. Speak for yourself. I'm soaked. I'm shorter than you. Just up ahead is one of the first stations. Are you sure it's a house where folks is going to help us? Yes, it's one of the first stops on the Underground Railroad. Quaker family lives there. All this sneaking around makes me nervous. I wouldn't want to have to live like this. We must be careful that neither we nor the people who help us get caught. But I'm afraid. But the fear of remaining a slave is far worse than the fear of getting caught. We keep on moving because the gift of freedom is so great. Freedom makes the journey worthwhile, no matter how hard, no matter how dangerous. There's the house. Thank you for helping us. Oh, you must be hungry. Who are your companions? Jericho. <laughs> Ma'am. And a little friend we met on the road. Well, come all of you and have a hot meal. Three helpings, and then I've got to get back home to Mandy. I know you'll get Jericho to freedom, Harriet. It will be worth every step. Look like little one ready to travel on his own. Goodbye. I miss your company. Be careful. Godspeed. And watch out for the North Star. I wonder which way I should go. Maybe if I just walk, I'll get there. Yep, I thought so. How was your trip? Did you see the Underground Railroad? I want to know how you did that. Those people were brave to walk on foot to freedom in the North. If only more people could experience what it felt like to walk Underground Railroad. It would take years to send everybody down those magic tracks. I'm going to ask the track pack to create a game. SOS trackers, come up with a game board that shows what types of help or danger you might run into taking the Underground Railroad from Kentucky to Canada. Now that you've viewed On the Right Track, we have a little advice for you. The curriculum area for this program is primarily social studies, but as you'll see, there can be some other areas you can integrate. The processes your student will engage in are research, map skills, communication, and design and construction. Remember, the objectives are listed in the teacher guide and are based on national standards. The procedure is wonderful. Your students, after watching the show, will go and research the Underground Railroad. They will share within and without their groups that information, and then they will construct game boards that will use map skills to show the area between Kentucky and Canada. We have some special points for you to remember. The Teacher's Guide has many resources listed. You certainly don't need to use them all. Use the ones that are useful to you. Encourage your children to do local research. There are many areas across the country that were involved with the Underground Railroad and have rich histories right within your neighborhood. This is a perfect opportunity to integrate music. The folk music of that era is fabulous and will make a wonderful addition to this unit. 
If you're not used to using a game board, uh, you may adjust to the fact that your kids are going to take a long time with it. They're very proud of the information they found, and our experienced teachers have said they really want to make these game boards be great. If you're not used to having student-generated game boards in your classroom, we know it works. Give it a try. Like if you um, play right here, you take a food card, and then it's, and you do whatever it says, and then it hit, says, here is some cornbread, and that's the food that the people at the station gave you. Question. 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 Go ahead. Anthony, I think it's your turn to pick up the question. No, you. Oh, did, did Peg Lake Joe help Harriet? Yes. I was surprised at what they've come up with because each game they did uh, remember to use a lot of the things they had learned in their research um, and put it on the game board or on their game cards. And how did you figure out things like the Quaker family and you found clothes? Well, we, 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 we researched. We, yeah. researched. No, we looked in books and stuff. Mm -hmm. Then we also learned some stuff from some videos that we watched. And they did understand that the runaway slaves were moving from Kentucky through Ohio into Canada, and they tried to show that on their game boards. Uh, I was very pleased with the outcome. And they're real excited. We've decided to share our games with another class and invite them in to play the game. And so they're real excited about that. John Brown helped you go two steps ahead. Good. And where are you trying to get to? Canada. From my viewpoint, sometimes the project looks overwhelming. Looks like it's going to be very difficult for the kids to accomplish. But as we work through it, I see such a change from the beginning to the end of the project, and they really feel good about what they've accomplished. And I think I see them actually applying skills that they're using now in other areas. Uh, just like with the first project with the atlases and globes, they would go over and start to look at the atlases and look other things up that they, before, they didn't know how to use the atlas. Well, I just really enjoyed it because we really incorporated all the different subject areas. We had social studies, math, um, we did some science with the constellations, we included language arts, and then the music teacher, Mrs. Priscilla, you know, did the song Follow the Drinking Gourd with them. The Quaker houses, the like their stations on the way, and it helped them get to Canada and that. I was very pleased. Um, we had a good variety. I thought at first they would all copy off of each other when they saw the other game boards, but some of the designs were very similar, but the games themselves were very different. Now, what happens? What is that? Um, station one. It's like you're saying. Uh, they have you're stations. Saying, uh, uh, you can get two.